youth takes over as 50,000 Boy Scouts of America march into the fairground for their day. And maybe it's just as it should be that they stage their show in the Court of Peace. For no one has ever doubted that the aim of scouting is to link the youth of the world in fellowship and brotherhood. Old Dan Beard is here, the man who first brought to America the principles laid down by Lord Baden-Powell, and Theodore Roosevelt Jr., bearing the name of a famous president. And 50,000 scouts suddenly become serious as they renew their oath to grow up as good men and true, to serve their country not through conquest and aggression, but for the greatest good of all the world. And then, in the same setting, the British Empire takes the stage in celebration of Canada Day. And the Canadian Mounties thrill the crowd with their famous rhythm ride. They do it without spoken command, only the music gives the cue. It wouldn't be possible unless the horses knew the changes almost as well as the riders. But the Mounties aren't showmen alone. They are also one of the world's finest police forces well-drilled and with a magnificent tradition of hardihood and devotion to duty, worthy sons of Canada. 